happening guys welcome back to the channel guys today we are going to be getting some more parts for the third gen so hopefully guys you'd like to see this thing get built uh, the fourth gen all we got left is like a custom dyno tune and and getting some wheels on it i was gonna buy some wheels but i was like man I'm, i got the opportunity to buy some some performance mods right now people are parting out and stuff so getting stuff for a, a bit cheaper so i figure i'll put the money on that rather than buying a tune and wheels for my fourth gen to be honest guys i will i really wasn't planning on putting any more money in this car i just really wanted to keep the third gen just my daily and just reliable as possible so it's got two hundred and three thousand miles right now and and climbing having a stick wanting to see what this thing can do fully bolted on and i'm curious guys i mean it'd be nice to save the money up that i'm about to spend on it for the 4g and get some really nice wheels and get a tune for it I'm gonna take the risk and spend some money on this thing and see what this thing can do. Literally about to drop 800 and like 50 bucks on the phone everything. This just this week, man. Alright boys, this is what I got. I got a PLM PCD. So we're gonna put this on. And yep, 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 yep. The next day. Alright guys, so we're here at my boy's house and he's parting out his his uh his eighth gen uh i'm grabbing this and this put on the third gen you gotta make this thing faster but yeah guys and he went from the eighth gen accord freaking stinger v6 uh twin turbo Sexy. gt1 right gt1 yeah. rebel drive she fast guy right here he just got super fast the next day let's get a startup before we install some parts guys i'm not gonna do like flybys or anything i'm about to do some exhaust work on it i'm about to install some pcd so i don't want the exhaust too hot but i'll get you guys a little something time to make this 3 gtl a bit faster guys right now we got all the stock parts as you can see stock intake stock everything the only thing that's different about this car is the muffler so it's cut out so the mufflers are going it's just a pipe and there's the aftermarket resonator i'm not sure what kind of resonator that's on that's on here i will put up a link to a video on that video it tells you where he got the, or what kind of resonator it is. we got some bolt-ons we're gonna be installing we got the 37 intake manifold and we got the plm pre-cat deletes and a four inch intake and i got this all set up from uh summit racing and dude they ship really pretty fast so summit racing guys they did a good job ship the coupler four inch intake and the k and air filter for like 160 and I got these from a friend who was parting out his TL. So that's where I got that from. And also the 37 manifold. I got that from another friend who was parting out his, his car. So that's what we'll be installing today. And definitely make the 3G TL a bit faster. This 37 manifold, it's got a bigger, it's got the 37 throttle body. So it's got a bigger uh, intake. So it'll be able to get more air in, guys. So also we gotta put this front brace in. Yeah, this front brace right behind the front bumper, mine's just like completely bent in. So we're gonna replace that. Hopefully we can get this all done today. Uh, let me show you guys where I'm, I'm at currently. See, everything is still stock. Stock airbox. That's all it's got to come out. Freaking, 
this thing is done. <laughs> we're gonna try adjusting the valves today, and guys, we're gonna finish up another day, guys. This is gonna, this is gonna this car is gonna be here a few days, so uh, I gotta go back to work this week. So yeah, we'll finish up. The next step. I have completed installing the PLM pre-cat deletes. They're on. I didn't want to go through a step by step on how to do this, but hey, the the PLM PCDs they fit. And actually, I believe the PLM is actually a bigger piping than the RV6s, guys. So yeah, that's gonna be cool. Just gotta put the fan back on, valve covers, intake manifold, and then I gotta route the new uh, custom four inch intake on I'm gonna be doing so. So I got, let's see, valve covers on, PCDs on, everything's back in place. I'm ready to install the J37 intake manifold. <laughs> Super pumped for this, man. So far, so good. Everything is bolting right up to everything. Let's put the top plate back on, and this time the Intake manifold runners is built into the plate. Okay, put the uh, purge control solenoid all the way in. Goes in just like that. See, got the other stud guys, so that's why mine looks a bit smoother. Throttle body connector bolts right up. And a brake booster hose. <clears throat> So this is the part I've been really anxious about. It's hoping that the four inch intake will fit everything, guys. I really hope so. I really need this to work. Nice, it's all polished too. Thank you, Vibrant, for the Vibrant performance, for the nice intake hose. Oh my gosh, bro. This is freaking huge. Leaving work? I don't know, guys. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, all right. Uh, okay, that kind of fits in there like that. Sick. And then, <laughs> all right, this pipe is way too long. We're gonna have to cut it like right. Very nice. All right, so let me cut this because I'm gonna need to use this sleeve or this coupler to connect this onto that pipe up there. Use a razor. All right, we got our sleeve. Before we get ahead, we got to install our intake air temperature sensor. And I wanna, I don't know, maybe put it like somewhere hidden back here or something. So for the IAT sensor, I'll be taking out this grommet. Shout out to my man, Kevin, man. Told me what he did. And I'll be putting this grommet to where the IAT sensor will be going onto this pipe. So I'll be drilling right over here. You going in, baby girl? All right, don't leave me. I'm gonna take this off right here. Hmm, nice. So the IAT sensor will go through here. Let me see if this will fit through here. Oh, perfect. Okay. Looks like it's a half inch hole. All right, my hole is made right here. I'm gonna put the grommet in there. Just like that. Let's use some.
I'm gonna force it in there. Oh my gosh, it's super tight. Guys, okay, so it's going in. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, there we go. It's in. <laughs> it worked, guys. Perfect. Time to connect the IAT sensor. So I gotta cut the intake up so I can fit it in there. Got me a hacksaw here. Yeah, baby, it's beautiful. Huh? Almost there. So I cut that pipe. I'm just gonna use this pipe right here. It's pretty long, but I'm gonna just use this, man. I just wanna get this kind of just be done with it. I think it'll fit. It's gonna keep it like this. I, I believe it'll clear the bumper. I really hope so. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I think that, that'll be good. One last thing we gotta do, boys, and that is to install install this thing on the bumper just like that oh that'd be so cool for some reason i like the the design of it i like the little right the letterings i don't know i really like it guys put the bumper back on man i cannot wait to put all the the covers oh man it'd be so cool bumpers back on i've always loved the look of the 3G's uh, engine bay, especially with this intake right here, a shiny intake with the battery covers and all the covers around it. It looks super good. Car is actually done, guys. It's like 12 in the morning, so I'm not gonna do like an exhaust sound, but I'm just gonna drive it because I don't want to wake the neighbors up. Ooh, it's about to be loud, son. Ooh, sorry, neighbors. Make sure the check engine light goes away. I hope it does. If not, I left something loose. Yep, nice. <laughs> Here you go, guys. It's gonna be so loud. quiet the startup one it's definitely different so far it sounds the same but I bet when I get to like a when I start ripping it guys it's gonna sound so much different oh wow that throttle is so much louder wow sounds good I can definitely hear the intake it sounds so really throaty oh yeah <laughs> much louder I can the exhaust is much louder guy <laughs> this thing is fun Whew. perfect man no check engine lights everything is uh copacetic guys I'm not sure if I want to rip it yet but Definitely pulls a lot harder, guys. Video and is that a Supra? It is a Supra.
TL. <laughs> that was so much fun. Uh, wow, this base TL is like picked up a lot of power, man. Was not expecting a freaking Supra to run up beside me, but hey, that was, that was cool, guys. Thank you guys for watching, man. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. See y'all next video. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.